Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on multiplying decimals by negative powers of 10. So this first question here, we want to do 34.6 multiplied by 0.1. Now in another video where I multiply just general decimal numbers together, what I always do first is just ignore the decimal points and just multiply whatever numbers I have there. So if I ignore those decimal points, I have 346 multiplied by 1. So 346 multiplied by 1. And that's clearly just 346. But then remember, what we do is that we count how many times the decimal point moved from the original numbers. So if we had 346, the decimal point was here, but it's actually here, so it's moving left one place. Now, we had 1 here, but we actually have 0 0.1. Can you see the decimal point was here, it moved one place from the right. So in total, our decimal point has moved once, twice. And because it's moved twice in these numbers, we therefore have to move it twice in this result as well. So the decimal point, 346, is originally at the end. We've got a decimal point here. We move it twice, so once, twice, and we get 3.46. So the answer is 3.46. Now obviously we don't need to do 346 times 1 because it's obviously 346. So whenever you're multiplying by 0.1 or 0.01 or 0.0001, all you need to do is just move the decimal point in this number by how many times the decimal point has moved in this number. So if we take this number here, can you see that if we're multiplying by 1, the decimal point would be here, now the decimal point is moved twice, and therefore in this result here, we need to move the decimal point twice to the left. So if I put the digits here, and let's put some zeros on the front. Now the decimal point is originally here, between the four and the six, and it's gonna move two places to the left. So one, two, like this, and therefore the decimal point is now going to be here. 